Okay, everyone. Happy Saturday. So, woo, it's already been quite a wild um, day. Um, Show items one to two of two. Show items one to three of three. So, I pulled away from a lot of things and. Show items one to four of four. I allowed myself to just really, I reached out to someone, a new friend, and share with him what I was experiencing, and then with one of my, you know, clubhouse tribe families this morning, last night, I feel like I got some, finally got some traction on what I've been experiencing, and spiritual, metaphysical understanding. Um, so I'm a very sensitive person. <laughs> I am highly empathic. Um, and if you really knew me, you'd know I have seen and experienced A lot of really fucked up shit in this body, in this life. Show items one to five five. And, um... <sighs> I was trying to understand, you know, what, what was going on with me and why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. And, um, you know, asked a friend and a fellow, um... <laughs> aware, <laughs> intuitive person, and, and did some research into understanding Halloween, understanding the thinning of the veil, and what that means, and how that can show up, and what that could feel like in one's body, and, um, felt very uncomfortable <laughs> and I am seeing and experiencing and feeling and thinking a lot of stuff stuff that is not easy to talk about um, really scary stuff I keep moving. I feel like I need to just shake it off. Um, so I I reached out to my mom and allowed myself, like I was really scared to let my mom hear me and let her know that I was struggling. Um, I didn't want to scare her. And I know she's already, you know, she's struggling, and, but, it just opened up this beautiful door. For me to let myself be loved by my mom. And my mom just, she knows me really well, and we're a lot alike. And it's like she reminded me of who I am and lifted me up and just provided such profound wisdom. And she even read me a story. My mom is also big into inspiration and story and childlike wonder. It's where I got it from, <laughs> probably. Um, and uh, she has like a daily inspirations book by Winnie the Pooh and I got to listen to my mom reading me a story about Tigger and Tigger and like his stripes and being different and you know um, and we just really bonded you know um, it was nice to connect to my roots and um, 
There was definitely some like healing that needed to happen between us. And um, I got to share my gratitude for her with her. And so if you really knew me, you know um, I was once in and out of hospitals and institutions. Rehabs, detoxes, uh, I think it was a big reality for my mom, for her. a big part of my life from at least the age of 14-ish to 21. Um, I just lost my train of thought. My mom didn't know if I was going to live. Um, my mom didn't know if she, her daughter was going to die many a times. If her daughter, if somebody was going to kill me or if I was going to end up killing myself from my choices and the situations I ended up in. Um, between the ages of 14 and 21. But what I was reminded of today I hope my mom really heard my pain and she's like it really she's like it was really hard hearing you like that. She's like, I don't like hearing your voice like that. And she's like, I'm gonna read you stories and I'm gonna send you angel cards and it just reminded me of all the times I was in and out of hospitals and institutions and my mom would write me his long letters and send me cards and Mama and her would put together these packages for me and uh, how that was just like gold and so many other people didn't get that that were in there and how I just was so grateful and so lucky and you know to think that my mom and she even said it today you know she's like life is hard she's like I've been struggling my whole life and that is the truth for my mom still to this day can't say I love you to her. Uh, my mom had a rough childhood and life too. <sighs> and so we both just kind of bonded and were sharing like there's a lot of intensities in the air. She has a lot of things she's dealing with and her birthday, she's also a Scorpio. Um and her birthday is the 25th and so you know I was also telling her you know like the woo woo stuff about what's going on and you know what she was sharing like and we were just it was just really sweet and really needed um made me feel more normal and more human and more understood and less insane um and then you know doing the research that I did and learning about Halloween and the veil between the worlds of the seen and the unseen and me being newly blind and feeling like I am already like in this kaleidoscopic experience of having a thin veil now that I'm blind it's like this is my norm and so now during Halloween during this fall season, whatever you want to call it, so Samhain, uh, there's so many different terms and ways to refer to this season that happens all over the world. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm just like, I've been having a hard time. I've been wanting to throw in the towel and like just hide and like. Show me one, they fuck you, fuck this, fuck that. Like, this is just... And for no reason, it's just like... Um, yeah, and feeling like a literal level of static that comes up. Like, I can't... Like, I, I don't even want to tell you guys everything. I was feeling too vulnerable. And I'm feeling... I feel like people are going to judge me and think I'm crazy. And I already think I'm crazy. And I'm already scared. And don't like sharing and... Uh. 
so yeah that's where I'm at <laughs> and um but thankfully I have some fellow crazy spiritual friends <laughs> and um yeah and I get to meet Carreza for the first time tomorrow which I'm really excited about um and it's like there's a little part of it's nervous because we never met but it's like we've been working together it's like I've known her for a long ass time we just haven't met in person um so that's really cool <sighs> god all right let me check if anything's here hold on So I don't know if you saw this in the beginning or you saw my video from yesterday, but um, I'm doing better. <laughs> I may not look like it, but I am. Um, yeah, and I'm wearing, um, this is actually a muumu. oh, my back, a muumu my mom gave me. It's just like this big, comfy throw on dress that I was inspired to put on by my conversation with um, a friend this morning and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go the sun is starting to shine right here so I'm gonna open that window I'm gonna take off my clothes and I'm gonna lay here and soak up the sun naked because that's what I like to do so I've been doing all morning I chase the sun around when it's warm enough when it's out when I could feel the breeze and the sun and be naked and we're losing that here so I'm just like savoring as much of it as I could get um <sighs> okay bye profile photo close button are you sure you want to end your live video and video button